stringers and low-end lovers, how the devil are you today? And today we are doing Say It Ain't So by Weezer. Reminds me of my youth when I was a young man. God, I loved that album when it first came out. My name is Jonas and all of that lot. Brilliant, brilliant album. And this song is like super fun to play and it's very, very soulful. Uh, and it's quite simple as well. I'm playing this with a plectrum today, okay? Uh, I do believe that's what the guy plays with. I don't know his name because there's two bass players and I keep on getting them confused. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'm playing with plectrum today. Anyway, so first thing you want to do is come to the fourth fret on the A string with your index finger and play it. Okay, and then you want to come to the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger. And you guessed it, play it. Then we have this kind of like really geeky bit, which is just the loveliest part. I just think it's brilliant. Okay, and we're gonna, what we're going to do there is going to come to the fourth fret on the D string with your index finger. Okay, and play it, and then play the fifth fret on the D string with your uh, middle finger. And then you guessed it, come to the sixth fret on the D string with your ring finger, and play those three notes like this. Okay, so in the groove. Bam. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, and then look at that. Your middle finger is perfectly placed to come to the fifth fret on the E string, right there. And then straight after that, you can do an open E. Okay, this big fat bugger right there. So all together, so far we have. Okay, and then hit the E string again. And then come to the fourth fret on the E string with your ring finger. So we have. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, and then look where your index finger is. It's already placed perfectly to come down on the second fret on the A string. Boop! Right there. And that's what you can do. Play the second fret on the A string with your index finger. Okay, so all together we have. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so that's the first part. And all we do on the second part is this. Exactly the same thing again, but you just ring out the E string. So those two parts put together go like this. Play along with me. Hold and again. Bam. We come back in again. Nice and nice and simple. It's fun. Pretty much does that throughout the verse parts. Um, I do believe, uh, where is it? It's about 115 around. Right about the 115 mark uh, on that verse there, he uh, there's a little fill there. So after we come after the the last E, so bam, 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 bam. There it is. Okay, and all you do there is you come to the fifth fret on the A string with your index finger, hit it. Okay, and then hit it again quickly, and then slide up to the seventh fret on the A string with your index finger. So we have, yeah, bam, bam. It's just a cheeky little fill. Bam, 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 bam. Brilliant. Okay, now it'll take us into our chorus, which is again very, very super simple. Okay, so we have this kind of emphasis on this bam, bam. Okay, and that's how it goes with the drums. So the first thing you can do is you're going to come to the fourth fret on the A string with your index finger, hit it twice. Come to the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger, hit it twice. Bum, bum. And then come to the fifth fret on the E string with your uh, middle finger, hit that twice. And then literally just do an open E. That's it. So, bam, bam, tsh, bam, 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 bam. Now, the thing is here is you can, you can get away with some things. Like, as that E's like ringing out, you could do like a couple more E's. Just give it more of an emphasis, like this. Bam, 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 bam. Just, just to give it a little bit more depth, because um, he doesn't do that on the on the actual single, the version that we um, listen to on our computers. But like, if you can get away with a lot more and add in a few more bits to give the song more depth and power, um, which is what you want, and that is an especially powerful chorus. So it's. Also, another thing that he does there, um, he just adds like the E octave right there on the seventh fret with your ring finger. So it's like bam, 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 bam. He does that sometimes, he adds that note. So add that there, I don't know, I think it's like on the second chorus, but just listen to the song and it will become apparent. Okay, and as we come out of the second chorus, right? And as we do that, we're going to come out of the second chorus and straight into the bridge. Um, and how he does that is, it's quite simple, just come to the uh, that fourth fret on the A string again, play it four times. 
one, two, three, four. The same thing on the fourth fret on the E string with your index finger, one, two, three, four. And come to the fifth fret on the E string with your middle finger and play that three times. And then the E straight after it. Okay, so bam, 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 bam. So we're going to come straight into that bridge straight after. And how we're going to play that is basically just come to the seventh fret on the E string right there with your ring finger. Play it twice. Okay, and then there's a slight gap. So it's dun 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 dun. So there's these slight gaps in between. So play the seventh fret, E string twice. Play it again after the gap. Come to the sixth fret on the E string with your middle finger, play twice. Play it again after the gap, so we have. And then play two E's, okay, open E's. Play another open E after the gap. Okay, then come to the third fret on the E string with your index finger, play it twice. Okay, uh, like then 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 yeah, and, and then there's a gap, and then play it again, and then what I like to do is I like to slide back up to the seventh fret. So you you, you can just literally come to the seventh fret, but repeat the whole thing again. But on the second time round on the bridge, he does this. We come to seventh fret, do all that as usual. Okay, and when he comes to the sixth fret, instead of going, what he does is he does this fill. So bam 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 bam. Then it comes to the ninth fret on the A string, okay, with your, with your little finger, uh, and then the seventh fret on the A string with your index finger, and the sixth fret on the A string with your index finger. So we have, okay, and again, and then it goes straight into the E like I taught you before, right? Okay, and when we do it again, uh, when we come out of the chorus, uh, sorry, the pre-chorus into the guitar solo, basically all he does is holds on the G there on that third fret on the E string and goes. And that takes us straight into the guitar solo. And the guitar solo, uh, it's like a crescendo. So it, it starts off simple, what we play, and then we kind of like join the drums and it builds and builds and builds as the solo like like gains more power, right? So literally all we're gonna do is we come out of the bridge, hit the uh, fourth fret on the, e str uh, the A string once, then hit the fourth fret on the uh, G uh, E string once, then the fifth fret on the E string once, so it's like the verse, and then the open E once. That's how we, bam, come into the whole guitar solo. Bam, bam. And then we like add a little more. So what we do there, just play uh, three times on the A string at the fourth fret, and then come to the fourth fret on the E string right there. Play it four times. So bam, bam, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Then come to the fifth fret on the E string, play it three times. Okay, uh, and then play the open E four times. So bam. Does it twice? Bam 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 bam. And then when the guitar solo does that double solo thing, it just changes again slightly, right? So we just come to the fourth fret on the E on the A string again, play it four times. And then fourth fret on the E string, play it four times. And then fourth fret, sorry, five times on the fifth fret on the E string. And then you just like do an open E. So bam 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 bam. So that's a do -do 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 -do. Um, that's that's a really bad way of explaining it. <laughs> so then we just do the chorus again, right? Okay, but on the first time we do that, there's a little fill, so it goes bam bam, bam bam, bam bam, bam, and straight after that E, okay, we're going to come to the seventh fret on the D string with your index finger, and do a hammer on to the to the ninth fret uh, with your ring finger on the uh, D string, and then come back down to the seventh fret on the D string with your index finger. Then come to the ninth fret on the A string with your ring finger. Okay, and then come to the seventh fret on the A string with your index finger. So, uh, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, uh, and then just do that again. And we end the whole song with My Love Is A Life Take Apart. And all we do there is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, four on the four, uh, A string, four on the four on the E string, and then four on the uh, fifth fret on the E string. So, bam, 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 two, three, four, bam, 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 bam. Then just sustain that E, leave that E going, 
and then the guitar does its bit but the E is just still rolling out over the top of it because that's the key it's in. And that, my friends, is Say It Ain't So by Weezer. I hope it helped you in some way and I shall see you in the next lesson. Thank you.